What's going on guys? It's Daniel the Hitman. And I got a nice review going for you. <clears throat> uh, drinking Teddy's orange and cream. It tastes like a fizzy um, cream soda. So I don't know what's going on if I got a little... Um, sickness or whatever but I've had a lot of stuff going on down here so my voice is a little bit rough and tough <clears throat> excuse me so eh. Eh. boom so I just got it's all over the place but as you know earlier I got my verdict uh, vapors um, juice in so we are gonna review mango rush very simplistic bottles, as you can see, nothing too crazy. Then we got Apple Crumb. Very uh, simplistic once again. This one is killer. Now, all these are for, by Mega E-Liquids, except for this one. This one's by Verdict itself. This is Strawberries and Cream, recommended to me by Beast. Shout out to West Virginia. And this one is Watermelon Rush. They like Rush. And then finally, last but not least, coffee donuts. So we're going to review all five of these. But first, rip and dip. Got to get rid of the one. This thing's too much, gonna turn on the fan. BRB. <laughs> it's gonna get cloudy like a Cypress Hill concert in a little bit, but anyway, so we're gonna do a read. First, I gotta get rid of this, of course. Very tasty, very tasty. But. So let's see what we're going to do first. Let's start with mango. So Verdict Vapors, 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 Verdict Vapors has this try before you buy thing. So you get to try five 10 milliliters, 50 milliliters for just shipping, which was 350 for me. So I'm assuming it would be 350 for you there from, uh, I can't remember, I think Wisconsin. So anyways, we're going to drip. Now, off the bat, I'm going to tell you a con. This is the only con I've had so far about these freak. These bottles are the hardest bottles I've ever seen to squeeze. They are outrageous. Very hard. And then when you open them up, sometimes you have to, you have to push the the seal on the bottom down just to get them off. But that that I kind of secretly liked that because it was fun. It was like. But, uh, yeah, they do not pass the one-handed test, which is, a uh, at least these bottles. Maybe the bigger 60 milliliters, 100, what? Oh, they do pass the test, at least this one. So let's see if we can close it, though. I'm having a hard time getting it back on. This is the one-handed, there we go. All right, let's see if I can get it back on. Oh, wow. So, at least this bottle passed the one-handed walk with an RDA and drip test, which is... Very good. I mean, the best one is this. I mean, this one just comes right off in a jiffy. And then uh, to put it back on, of course, I'm struggling right now. You just boom, 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 back on. That's the one-handed test. So they uh, passed that. But this bottle is like fucking shaking Satan's dick. It is ridiculous. So anyways, we're going to try the first Mango Rush. They like Rush. Now, this is by Mega. Let's see. Very good mango uh, flavor. Uh, definitely more of an authentic mango, not a candied mango. I get a hint of orange for some reason. A hint of orange. I don't know if that's just mango in general, because I did get that in Melon Head as well, but it does have orange. So, hmm. But overall, very good flavor. So I guess we'll do uh, a countdown. So out of all these, this is probably my least favorite. That doesn't mean I don't like it. It's just uh, 
it, it just, uh, I found myself easily switching back to certain ones. So now I gotta realize who's gonna be four. Who's gonna be four? All right, now I got it set up and prepped. So that was definitely my number five out of the five I got. But a solid, solid mango. And mango is very hard to duplicate. It's very, very hard. It's a hard flavor. You know, it's like orange. It's like coffee. Um, it's very hard to mimic it. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is this juice? I would say it's a solid 7. Uh, and that's me being tough. I'm going to be tough on these flavors, as I always am with all my flavors. But in relation to how it mimics... It's definitely up there. I would say it's 80-85% on mimicking the taste of a mango. It tastes exactly like a mango. Definitely could have been room to improve, as I said, because it does have that little bit of uh, orange flavor in there, which I don't get when I eat mangoes. So, the cotton's starting to dry up, so that's that. Definitely a good flavor. So now I would say number four is going to be strawberries and cream, which is shocker to me because I was recommended this uh, by my uh, my internet friend, and uh, so we'll see how it is with the new build and new cotton. Um, I was having all kinds of problems with my cotton today. I just couldn't get it to wick correctly. Um, partially my fault trying new techniques like I actually didn't fluff today I was like I wonder you know I see some people I saw a youtuber not fluff and I was like I wonder I wonder how it is not to fluff don't do that fluffing definitely works when you're fluffing your cotton definitely makes it easier I mean I dripped on it and just slid like a damn waterfall like water on ice So for me, this is just a strawberry. Um, I get little to no cream, but the thing is, I, I get a lot of muted flavor from this. It is good, but all these, by the way, are 70 VG, 20. No, <laughs> I can't do math. It's 70 VG, 30 PG. Pretty good. So the clouds you're going to get off here are not massive, but uh, you get a lot more flavor. So... This is just his own kind of dealio, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of, let me get that in the shot just for sake of it, um, a lot of, um, a lot of strawberry and cream flavors taste like either strawberry milk, you know, strawberry ice cream, stuff like this. This is just kind of like a strawberry by itself with a little bit of cream, kind of like you're eating strawberries with a side of milk. And so you only taste the milk when you drink it. I... Let me re-drip just to verify. So on the inhale for all of these except for one, which is my number one, you'll see in a little bit. This is going to be a longer review because i got to go through five of them. Um... So yeah... Definitely on the exhale, you get a little bit of cream, but a, a good amount of strawberry. But out of all these flavors, it's definitely the most muted, which kind of disappointed me. Um, it's still a good flavor. I would say what it mimics, it's definitely on the lower spectrum. It does mimic a strawberry perfectly, but strawberries and cream, no, I'd say 50% for strawberries and cream. For strawberries, I would say 70%. Overall, I give it about the same as the mango, about a 7%. So let's vape on it a little bit more to get that cotton dry. Pretty good. Next for number three. Uh, number three. We're not going to vape on it because it is going to, I'm going to do this, the final one, because it's definitely going to just overpower all of them. 
but I remember this because it was the first one I tried. Uh, it is coffee donuts. So, this one is exactly what it sounds like. It's a uh, coffee with donut. That's pretty much it. Very uh, roasted black coffee uh, with a little bit of caramel donut on the exhale. Uh, very good. Out, you, you know, I'm I'm a coffee guy. I like it black. Sugars. If you ain't got sugars, I'll drink it black plain. You know, every now and then I'll get fancy and get a caramel macchiato. But, you know, if I'm drinking coffee and it's my choice, black coffee, extra strong, good to go. Uh, sugar optional, really don't care. Hot, cold, frappe, I don't know what you would say, blended, I guess. Doesn't matter. But this is a very good coffee by Mega E-Liquids. Um, they're all 70-30 VG, uh, but wow. You get a good coffee flavor on here. It is a little artificial, but it tastes great. And uh, I'm very picky with my coffee flavors. You know, I went through a lot of coffee flavors uh, before I actually picked my favorite. This is definitely a must, especially if you do like this. The one, which is a strawberry donut, basically, essentially with cereal and milk. This is uh, the kind of like caramel chocolate coffee version of that. It's very good. Not No cereal. Uh, definitely donut but very good. I would say that would be tied second. This one is also tied second. Oh, whoa, we got to go back to this. All right, so does it mimic what it says? On the coffee, I would say it's about 90, 95%. On the donut part, I would say it's 80, 85 so I would say it's anywhere from 85 to 90 percent mimics what it says, which is a coffee donut, which is pretty good. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, I would give this an eight, depending upon the day, maybe an 8.5. It is not my favorite favorite coffee flavor, uh, but I could see in the future it might take over some. Uh, but on to number two. That's just pulsing it. All right, so number two is Watermelon Rush. Now, I'm going to stop vaping because I want to save number... I want to... Fucking it all up. I really want to try this again. Uh, so Watermelon Rush is... Uh, uh, this is hard. So it's number two. But I don't, I don't, I, 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 I don't know how to decipher it, because to me it tastes. If we're doing the percentage again, what it mimics is watermelon. It's like ten percent watermelon. It tastes like you take like, like say you lick the watermelon and then ate some other stuff. It tastes like that. It's very hard to explain. I don't get a lot of watermelon from it, uh, but. I would give this about the same as the coffee, like an 8, 8.5. I like it. I don't, I, I just don't get it. We'll drop a little on there, and I'll try to get a little bit of uh, watermelon just directly onto the coils just to get a little taste of it. So, I don't know, I get like candy flavor, like, like kind of like you take Skittles and you ball them up and you just take a bite or, you know, scoop them in your mouth. Like, I get an assortment of just candy flavors, but like I said, it's an 8.5, but it's the weirdest mix because it's like 10% watermelon, in my opinion, and mimicking what they're advertising, but it's good. So I can't complain. That's why it's tied number two. Now. On to number one, and this shocked me. So, I, I I don't really I love apples and grapes, but when you take them in the vapor form, I'm not too big of a fan. I'm still searching for my favorite grape that doesn't taste like bubble gum or hookah, or hookah. Uh, haven't found it. Got some coming with Zample Box next month, and I think a couple this month. But apple is another one that I just really typically don't like at all. 
in vapor form. Like I love apple juice, I love apple pie, I love everything. So this, as you already know, is apple crumb. It won some award for them. Uh, I can't remember. It's oven baked apple crumb. And they also have blueberry crumb. So I really want to try that because I'm not a big fan of blueberry crumb, but I wasn't a big fan of apple, but apparently I am. This is amazing. This is, uh, this shocked me how much I love it. In fact, it's so good that screw it, you know? You know, it, 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 hear that thing rumble? It's so good that I'm going to drip a little. Now, the problem with this one, and it's not really con, is it? it's really hard to change flavors with this thing. So let's rate it before we talk about this for the next 30 minutes, because dirty hell. So, does it mimic? And this is difficult for me, because I, I, I don't want to go 100%. This is supposed to be an apple pie with the crust, oven baked, not microwaved, not sauteed. Just oven baked apple pie. I would say it's 95 to 100% mimics it correctly. Like, ye, this is an apple pie. An apple pie with the crust, the whole, the end in bite. And it's beautiful. I would say out of all these, I would give this a, I would say a nine. I would say it's it's almost perfect. It, it is. You really get that apple but it's not separated at all. A lot of flavors, you know, you get the apple, then you get the mango, then you get the melon. No, with this, you get the apple and the, the crust at the same time, and it's it, it it's amazing. This is definitely the one that I'm going to waste my 50% coupon off. So anyways, those are the five flavors. It's a long video, I know, but... So, number one... Well, let's do it backwards. Number five, Mango Rush. Tastes pretty good. Number four, Strawberries and Cream. Subject to change, of course. Number three is, or number two is tied with Watermelon Rush and Coffee Donuts. And finally, number one, which shocked me with an uppercut from left field down in the bottom of the ninth on fourth down, Apple Crumb. Now, so... You go to Verdict Vapor, you do the try before you buy. Like I said, I paid $3.50 for shipping to get 50 milliliters, five different flavors, 10 milliliters each, 50 milliliters in total for $3.50 to ship to me. Now, I'm on the East Coast, so it's not too crazy. I'm not ordering from China. So it might differ for you, but nonetheless, you get to try five different flavors for very cheap. And you get to pick, you know. Um, and then, I guess, you get a 50% off coupon once you do that to kind of encourage you to buy. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about getting a 60 milliliter of this puppy. Apple crumb is amazing. And uh, maybe coffee donuts. This is a really good coffee. I don't know. I might get, I'm probably going to get one of these and then try another one. Uh, but yeah, it's called Try Before You Buy. You, it, it's, it's an amazing deal. And it's a really good brand. Uh, unfortunately, I only got one from Verdict Vapor. Uh, the rest are from Make It E-Liquids. Uh, I think they're the same company, but nonetheless, I don't know if that makes a difference. But anyways, you really should check them out. I'll put the name uh, in the title, and I believe the, the website is just verdictvapor.com. So... Uh, let's double check. Is it Verdict Vapors or Verdict Vapor? It just says Verdict here. Where's the Vapors? Well, anyways, I'll put the link in there. Uh, by the way, for this review, they were all three. Uh, Nick, and they were all 7030 VGPG. Uh, I really think you should check it out, especially if you're vaping on the budget and if you don't have Sample Box or a Vape Box or any kind of monthly subscription. By the way, if you have a Sample Box... If you want sample box, I got a promo code. It's Daniel dash, not lower dash, not high dash, middle dash, 2088. That gives you $10 in Z-Bucks, and you can use that for anything. I'm about to get a Bonza RDA for free. So, anyways, folks, I highly recommend checking them out. All the flavors I did like in some sort of fashion. All the flavors are above 8s, which is really good. 
Uh, and I think you should check them out. You'll have a great day. Oh, wait. We should do, uh, I, I should probably say bye. Bye-bye.